guys, welcome back, hope you're doing alright. And we are back to Brinstar. Now there's going to be a few more items for me to pick up along the way. Uh, and in this episode I will actually end up fighting a nice little mini boss, which uh, you actually fight on Metroid Fusion. Or not Fusion, I'm sorry. Um, zero Mission. Reserve tanks. Now the reserve tanks are a pretty awesome add into the game. It's basically extra, um, an extra life <laughs> for in case you die. My cat! I swear to God, I'm gonna punch her in the face sometime. Um, but yeah, this room has like three different items: a couple missiles and then the reserve tank. And then as soon as you get it back outside, you go up and around, because you can't, like, bomb through the floor or anything right there. So you have to jump around, and you get a super missile. You can see that the auto just lit up on the reserve tank. <clears throat> that means that as soon as my energy hits zero, uh, whatever I have in the reserve tank will automatically fill up that much in the energy tanks. There was a uh, hidden ability that I was going to look up. Let me look that up real fast. Metroid Wikia, and it is the Shine Spark. Oh, come on. Quit. I don't care about your advertisements. Get out of here. <clears throat> Transport is a move that Samus can execute after the speed booster ability has appeared in every game with it. Originally taught, taught to her by the Korra on Zebes. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. So, the things that you get the items from are not uh, the Chozo. The Chozo are actually the race on, um, is it Talon 5? I think it is. Uh, you get to meet them, or you go into the Chozo ruins on... Well, no, because there's actually a Chozo temple here. I can't remember. But yeah, Shine Spark is that little jump that I do. And whenever you crouch down and have the speed boost. Let me see. Because there's a spine shark that you could do sideways. Samus can also shine spark in mid-spin jump. In order to do this, she must store a speed booster charge as usual. After spin jumping into the air, she must look up, down. She must look up, down, or fire a beam to stop the spin. Once she has stopped spinning, attempt to jump again, and it will activate the shine spark. And that's gonna allow you to do the Shine spark and left, right, up, or diagonal. These guys are actually teaching you how to do the wall jump if you don't already know how to do it. And then there's one that actually stays down below. You can see that there's two up here. The third one, if you're still down, or if you fall down, he jumps up here too and he shows you that you can more fall into this little hole. Now the reason why I ended up doing a time lapse right there was because my D-pad was being stupid and anytime I would try and go sideways in terms of a morph ball, it wouldn't double risk to the double tap down. So it wouldn't it wouldn't let me do it. And 
in this room, I'm actually about to learn another technique that I... Actually, <laughs> this teaches you how to use the shine spark right in this room. You fall down this hole, and you go all the way left. With this little bird dude, yay! Of course I screwed it up. Because I double tapped. Leggy. Now what's cool about these guys is... Uh, they essentially escape the planet by clinging onto your ship. They uh, find their way out and make it to your ship. Because since you've learned how to use their abilities, I guess they get a little bit fond of you. And, uh... Because yeah. in... Metroid Fusion, you actually run into them in the uh, containment chambers uh, towards the top of the space station, the research station. Which is pretty cool. I thought that there were multiple items in this room, too. I forgot there wasn't. Get out of there! And then time to get out. Now, I guess instead of on the previous episode, I had uh, kind of gone back through, uh, I can't remember what it's called, Meridia or whatever it is, the top area. Um, I had gone back through like this little down area, and I, there was no need to. I could have just gone through this and gone back up to get that missile upgrade. right here is a shortcut. This was actually uh, the original way that you were supposed to escape from Mother Brain on the original Metroid. I don't have the grapple beam. Because in order to get through the next area, you have to have the grapple beam. There's no sands or buts about it. Oh, 
Oh, I never go into that room with the uh, super missile lock, by the way. There's no point in it. The only thing that's in there is a health charging station, so... Taking a nice sip of my coffee here. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's... <laughs> I actually thought about this the other day. Was that uh, anytime I'm doing videos or anything like that, I end up having a... I have, I have to have a cup of coffee next to me. <laughs> I don't know why. Or some kind of warm beverage. Like tea or something. I don't know. I don't understand it. <clears throat> now, I make my way down to... Wait, is this room? No. Oh, it's the map room. God dang it. And then I realized that I have to go back up and to the left. Because there's this room where I had originally done uh, the speed boost. This room right here. And if you remember, there were the two spots with the power bombs. This actually takes you down to the area with the grapple beam. I don't know why I'm shooting these guys, I can just speed boost through it. That's what you're supposed to do. And this room is actually the original room in which you make your way down to um, North Bear. the deeper areas of North Air. I believe that... Oh yeah, here's the mini boss, dude. Easiest way to fight him is just bust out the super missiles, which is what I actually do here in a second, because uh, the super missiles actually do so much damage that it literally just pushes them back even farther than a charged bla uh, beam blast. spark to the right until you hit the wall and then do a wall jump up out of the acid to get an energy tank but that is fairly risky uh, being that the shine spark in Super Metroid does take HP to use it all the rest of them don't take anything cheat the system and jump up here. This room is supposed to have the gravel beam because you can see that little green shuttle bug. Uh, the green ones you can actually uh, grapple beam onto and it like shows their endoskeleton and everything. It's pretty neat. Super bomb, power bomb. And 
I got confused right here, because I, th I thought I was supposed to do a Shine Spark, which you don't. You just literally use the speed boost and jump. <laughs> I think that I did miss an item in that room because you, you saw that other green shuttle bug right there. I think that you're supposed to grab it to the right. And I think there's an item up there, so I'll have to come back down here to get that at some point. Oop. Now, the thing about the grapple beam in this game is, uh,. There's so many commands that you have to do with it that sometimes my fingers will go <laughs> while I'm actually using it. So <laughs> but I, th I think it made it a little bit easier since I have uh, the... Boop. Since I have the gamepad. Rocking around. And then here I fall in, because I'm a, I'm a derp whenever it comes to the grapple beam. Two, straight back at the water. There you go. And super missile. <laughs> Now I drop back down because there's a room uh, right below me that has a missile upgrade. that whenever you have the gravity suit, it still hurts you, but it's not the 30 or 40 energy a second anymore. It drops it down a little bit. to go get that energy tank. Oh, you can see there's that one dot. Ooh, fell in lava and it has it anyway. You can see there's a dot on the little mini-map there, to the left of me. There's not actually an item over there at all. Or at least I don't remember there being one anyway. And I think this is a recharge station. Yeah. Right here, I'm kind of studying the map, seeing where else I need to go. Um. Essentially, if I remember correct, I uh, leave Brins uh, Norfair. I didn't think that was gonna hit me and bust me right in the face. There's actually an area that I was supposed to go to um, to get a reserve tank and I think uh, some more super missiles, but I'd forget to do it. Oh, there's so much stuff that I have to go back for. Boof. You can see right there, I actually have to have the grapple beam in order to get up. Boop. You can see how weak that lava is as well, compared to the acid. <coughs> And 
right here, I almost mess up. And now we're back to the main part of Upper Norfair. Now, if you can perfectly time that jump, you can actually make it across without uh, having to stop like I just did. Perfect distance, wow. I realize how close that little shriek bat explosion was to, was to hitting me. way to get through this room is uh, obviously grapple beam, which is why I switched to it, but uh, keeping the grapple beam short, because just up ahead, you can see there's those little guys that like to grab you. If you extend your grapple beam, there's a pretty good chance that one of them is going to grab you, uh, but it's not a major issue at all. And then of course there's a little shriek bats that are flying sideways, but as you saw, they don't knock you back whenever they hit you. I don't know what that symbol is supposed to be. It's like a little, I always think of it as like a pyramid. <laughs> stand up and show you guys the x-ray beam scope beam beam scope anything that stays solid uh, you can not go through, essentially. And then I fall. <laughs> I'll just double check and make sure there wasn't any hidden item right there. I have not actually done a complete 100% item gathering. Uh, there's usually, I can usually get about 96%. I've never found every single thing in this game. Of course, I've never looked it up either, but... I guess I should probably do that at some point. See you guys later!